This hot dog joint started as a food truck, but after its engine blew, the husband and wife owners knew their food was too legit to quit. So they opened this spot in Elgin, shockingly named Legit Dogs and Ice. Let's go get some gourmet dogs. Not your typical mom and pop hot dog shop. This entire business was born out of my husband's mind. It's literally all of his favorite things in the world, hot dogs, skateboards, punk rock, and video games. It's a great family place. We have a wall of complimentary arcade games. Why Elgin? I fell in love with the old architecture, the art scene, and we really found a sense of purpose in bringing more attention to this beautiful city. And you guys do gourmet dogs. All right, Jackie, two Mexican cheese, two bad hombres, Mexican cheese first place. They feature tons of wacky, crazy toppings. Don't be scared. They've got incredibly creative designs. The flavors go really well together. It's not your everyday hot dog. There's nowhere even in the Chicagoland area that I've seen that's doing anything close to what they're doing. The flavors are amazing, the texture. My mouth's watering, I can't even talk. I usually start people off with something that's a little safer, okay. um, like our mac and cheese dog mm -hmm. that we're gonna make today. It's our homemade mac and cheese, topped with pitted, shredded ham. Ooh, and I'm it taking is, it up to the max. We have a nine-year-old, so he named that one after his best friend, Max. Oh, Max. Max is very sweet. <laughs> you mentioned that we're doing two. The other one is the bad ombre. It is addictive. It sounds awesome. Is it named after Max? <laughs> <laughs> I would more call him the loco ombre. And use the fresh beef that my wife bought today. So I'm cooking in the kitchen with Matt. He is the chief creative guy. He does all of the insane recipes people ask all the time. How do you come up with them? I say, because he's crazy and creative. He says, because he's bad. It's his words, not mine. <laughs> I think I stole his joke. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. That was so natural. We are doing a mac and cheese. What now, goes on that? A beef and cheese hot dog, two huge scoops of mac and cheese. Make sure the customer gets what they pay for. Give it a little press. A nice big hunk of ham right is down it, the middle. Is this hunky enough? Yep, a bunch of cheese. Cheese on meat, on meat, on cheese. Yeah, you just can't get enough of it. About two minutes, it'll be ready to go. Oh, I want to eat it. Comfort food at I want to eat it so badly, but we have to make a bad ombre. Jalapeno and cheese hot dog. This is a different kind of dog. They're like little artisan sausages. One heaping scoop of papaya and mango. So right. give, it, give her a little smush. Chili y limon seasoning, and then sprinkle it on top. And then give it another pinch, oh. because that's how what we do. And then we have the bad ombre sauce, which is a chipotle and sriracha sauce. Deep fried corn. And then do you like cilantro? Yeah. Thank God. Fresh cilantro. She's all done, that's it. Can we eat them now? Yeah, I okay, hope so. <laughs> which one shall we start with? If you want to go with the comfort food, or the bad ombre is really the one where it's like, hmm. Let's do the comfort first surprise at the end. I have never fork and knifed a hot dog dish, but I support that there's Let so much food here that I have to. This is amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> As you put the entire thing into your mouth. The mac and cheese is so perfect. How many kinds of cheese do you have in here? There's a lot. You really get such a good flavor, but the hot dog itself kind of manages to cut through even though there's a mountain of food on top of it. The ham is such a good add. It gives that extra little kick of saltiness. Top notch hot right. dog Not keto friendly. You know, we're not, we're, we don't really do diets nice. here yeah. at Chicago's yeah. Best, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. You've come to the right spot. All right, so this one, we started on a food truck. So we did not care about how our floors looked because you were eating outside. It's everywhere. It's a disaster. Even it, when I was making it, I was trying to clean up as I was going. That's why I say, just let it go. You just get used to it. All right, so. you dig in your style, dig Here in how I was told oh, to. Oh, this one is really. That's impressive. You can really taste the jalapeno in the dog and combined with that chipotle mayo, it gives like the perfect amount of kick but that fruit kind of levels you off at right. the end. The papaya and mango kind of neutralizes the spice. I love hot sauce, and it's like the perfect level. Why is legit Chicago's best? Legit is legit, and that's that. We can do all these crazy menu items. 
still be ourselves, still be punk rock. Well, hey, rock on, buddy. Thank you. So I'm going to finish closing these. Okay, let's see it. They're let's do that it. Good. I won't smile for the rest of this segment now because we have cilantro. cilantro. Go back to the office. I probably already have cilantro in my teeth, but I will continue to smile for all of you. You fit right in. Do I have anything in my teeth? No, you look great. Thank I you. don't see anything.